I know I got the email that you have like. Yeah. So where do you think it's not first? Okay. Where do you think it's the center section is actually the, the front? Um, I think the front is fun because they're kind of out there. Okay. So I just but go to um, the I've sat in different place. Okay. You know.
Yes, you may. Thank you. Seats for me, yeah. Okay, perfect. Yeah. How, how, how many more minutes do you have to start? Uh, it's supposed to start at 7, but it's a lot of time. So we so still have about five minutes. Okay. So I'm going to. Yeah, exactly. Yes. <laughs> exactly. Sure. Hi. You're welcome to sit wherever. There's seats in the front. We'll sit anywhere except next to these people. Okay. Hi. Hi. Hi.
It is related. But only God knows and sees best what lies hidden in the accounts of bygone peoples and times. It is for this very reason that we verily summon the story. She who is close to the legend, to the love she carries in her heart, and the music of her soul. Tell us, Alia. You are not too sleepy. Tell us the tale of your father. May I have your permission to tell the story, O oh, you wise and kindred spirits? And listen in, O oh, you lovers of poetry, music, and dance, you students of philosophy and mathematics and medicine. Listen in, O oh, you admirers of astronomy and architecture and painting. This is the story of my father, his many stories, for there is never a singular narrative. My father, Ali ibn Nafi, better known as Zuriyah. Named just because he added the fifth string to the root, the sharp sound known as Zia. Uh, Zir isn't the fifth string, it is the middle string. Named thus because it symbolizes. It's possible for the middle string to make the sharpest sound. Yes, indeed. All right, fellow scholars, I, I beg to differ. As a seeker of wisdom, I have studied voluminous manuscripts on the subject, and I have come to this conclusion. Well? Ah, the real reason behind Zirion's title was his melodious voice, and his lovely dark skin. He was named after an enchanting black bird. No, 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 you are all wrong. Zuria means finder of gold in Persian. Zad, yah. It's seer, yah. Finder of the sharp sound. Finder of gold. I heard it means gold water. Zad, up. Oh. Gold water? Like a sender? <laughs> His name is Persian because Zirya was a Persian slave brought to Baghdad. Persian slave? There are no Persian slaves. <laughs> As a matter of fact, when the uh, Army of the Faithful defeated the last Sasmi challenge, no, 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 Zirya was Kurdish. Absolutely wrong. He was born in Baghdad. So he is Iraq. There was no Iraq back then. But he is still Iraq. He is Persian. Who would they keep jumping in? What? <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
I'll give you enough money to meet your needs. But if you choose to stay and spite me, I warn you, I will despite my life and all I possess to crush you. Make your choice. The young Zuriyad did not hesitate. He took the money and left the Abbasid's path. The young man is positively possessed. He is subject to fits of frenzy that were horrible to witness. He thinks his talent is unequal and that the gen speak to him and inspire his music. He left Baghdad in a rage at not receiving a gift from the Hadith. Be grateful, the whole master of the faithful, that he is God. But how can that be a true story? My father was only 13 at the time. Pass my 
Cordoba ruled an unruly bunch. The land was plagued with internal revolts, Asturians against Zaragoza. Abdelrahman needed a unified force. He needed culture to make society. My father needed society to cultivate his art. A palm tree stands in the middle of Rusafa, born in the west and far from the land of palms. I said to it, how like me you are, far from home and in exile. In long separation from family and friends, you have sprung from soil in which you are a stranger. And I, like you, am far from home. May your heart be free of sadness and your mind permeable to hope. O vernally mere of endless possibilities. Zeria, your servant, my master, peace be upon you. And may your father's soul delight in, in, in your goodness, in your grace. There is no peace far from home, far from my ancestors whose, whose wisdom I so desperately seek. We are a small minority living in a vast land. Tell me, how are we to survive? Does the Amir seek my promise? Ernest, you will not be a minority for long if you invite the majority to embrace your way of life. Or better yet, together create a, a new shared way of life, one that not only allows but, but encourages differences of opinion, methodology, expression. Well, my better half would not diminish my domicile. Indeed. But I do not wish to live here in exile. This is your home. This soil, this water, this air. But build it not with a, a longing for the past, but with a vision for the future. One that surpasses our proudest memories. Yes, but can you in all honesty say that you've forgotten that Eastern metropolis, Baghdad? Baghdad lives in my heart. Damascus in mine. But we, we live in Cordoba. We shall bring glory to Cordoba. We shall, indeed. <laughs> That Zuriya helped Abu Rahman unify opposing factions without raising a sword. Listen and learn, and may you implement your learnings wisely. Oh, benevolent and impressionable audience. <laughs> Inspiration and opportunity go a long way, and Zuriya knew this deep inside every pore of his existence. But what does all that compared to fathering a daughter? <laughs> That is as bright as the sun, and more intelligent than the star.
late in the morning time will cause the flowers to bloom and the birds to sing. Now, music composition, it's based on three fundamental factors. Rhythm, melody, and understanding. Rhythm is the marriage between music and words. Melody is the fabric between, between beauty and emotion. And understanding. Understanding is how melody and, and rhythm are conveyed. Would you call it a marriage of melody and rhythm? Yes, yes I would. Well, what purpose does marriage serve? It serves to formalize a harmonious agreement. Harmonious? Harmonious, as the music of the sphere. Wow!
gastronomic enthusiasts and trendsetters, Zuniad's influence went far beyond music. He brought to the ornament people the most exquisite recipes and mouth-watering concoction of Mahdad's cuisine. To this day, on both of the menus, there are dishes credited to Zuniad, such as chendo or steamed rice. Thank <laughs> you. 
passage drives you insane. Honorable Emir, may I leave dust under your feet? My brother Syria. Ah, this looks promising, huh? She's the apple of my eye. Ah, uh, come now, this is Mohammed ibn Musa, my chancellor's other son. She is accustomed to comfortable surroundings. Yeah, he's a man of great wealth, means and position. She is a promising musician and a composer. Uh, and he, he is the ruler of Africa. But does he appreciate the art Syria, please? <laughs>
audience that as swift as Alvina's words were, the outside world did not always reflect her high idea. There were those who promoted hatred and division among the masses, and those who interpreted the wisdom of the Almighty in manipulative and self-serving ways. It was as true in 857 as it is today. Philosophers much wiser than any of us have said it much more eloquently. <laughs> it is thus I disagree. Uh, you are both wrong. <laughs> In the final days of his life, my father was heartbroken by the ongoing campaign on martyrs of Cordoba. I worry, my love. I have been a victim of fundamentalism all of my life. Now to wake to this, the Christian fundamentalist practice of public martyrdom, it benefits not their church, nor the true followers of Christ. They were here before us, Father, and they feel strongly about their traditions. To them, we are the colonizers. It does not justify violence. Calm yourself, Father. As you have always said, we are but a speck on the canvas of history. This too shall pass. But they do not see that life is love, and that love is art. The only unifying force, and the only gift that humanity will leave behind. We do not see this. I have failed. You have not failed, my father. You have not failed. Remember, rhapsody, rain, and poppy time. We'll cause the flowers to bloom. And the birds to sing. <laughs>